Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Titlar and we are back in Kingdom Come Deliverance with the adventures of Henry. After Henry got a beating by Runt when he was trying to bury his parents, he now was transported by Teresa to a new place, which we will find out after this nightmare of Henry. We are left in Henry's twisted mind. Let's put the sword out. No, put the sword out, Henry. And we are hearing mother's, Henry's mother crying for help. This is a human, so let's get rid of him. Yeah, Henry in his dreams is a hero. But in reality, he's a peasant. So I'm following the compass to the objective, and here we are. Do you need some help? What a bad day, Henry. Poor Henry, man. I think it's the last time I say I say poor Henry because from now on Henry is going to go from no one to a big one, I think. From zero to hero, hopefully. But there's work to be done as mother mother's uh, Henry's mother stated so come on loading come on game you can do this i believe in you game i believe you wake up henry it's past all right teresa henry, can you hear me get up henry wake up fine less it's a new day henry can you hear me hallelujah I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Uncle? Okay. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else Rete. to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later... You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Okay, how did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. 
My family. My friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. You don't love Henry anymore? I think you do. They were looking for me. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Where am I? And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying around long enough. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist, but you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid fortnight. the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Okay, the good thief. I owe you my life. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Okay. Thank you. So we've got a lot of quests. Your home. Rate a meal is now your new home. Your bed. You can sleep here you, and father. save the game. You have your own common trunk here, which is available to you in all your homes and rented lodges. Okay, so let's eat from the pot. Good, we are not hungry anymore, but still 65 is not enough. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff here. Let's take it all. And getting over encumbered again. Okay, the ancient maps, I think... We can put it on the trunk, pretty much. The other stuff we must equip, so... The nettle. It's our best sword. 49. And the shield. And the bow. And some arrows, right? Yeah, we've got long distance arrows and that's what I'll be putting on. Okay, in terms of weapons, we are done. Now, armor. Bianca's ring. The coif. The common bassinet. This. Then this. Then this. Then the hunter's gloves. This one. The leather jerkin. is the best one, okay. Light Gamson. This is better, despite being 
more visible but it's in better condition as well this is not this is good noble shoes but we've got that silent shoes that I want old plate pauldrons this is not better this on the other hand is Silent shoes, yes. War horse Gamson, nice. <clears throat> so this is a freebie that we've got here, giving us better armor, better visibility, and better charisma. Good. The working boots, on the other hand, is not good. So. What can we leave in the trunk of the other stuff? Inventory, other stuff, quest items, nothing. Okay, bandages, we are not going to need that much, so we can leave six on the trunk, keeping five with, that, with us. The die, I'm not going to carry the die with me. Hercules and his diet. We need to study this, but we don't know how to read. Let's keep it on the trunk. The treasure map, let's keep it on the trunk. Okay, and we are still very over encumbered. Nevertheless, let's get some bread rolls going. Oh, locking. Let's close this door. First, let's sneak. She's awake. Good. What we've got here. Okay, we can take all of this. And leave some bandages again on the trunk. Good. And the rest we can sell. Or at least try to. Okay. So, Miller Peshek, we need to talk to you. DLC activated! Dresses of the past, a legend has been circulating about stashes containing magnificent warehouse armor. You can find more in the hints in your trunk. From the ashes, the long abandoned village of Prisbelavitz awaits the return of bushling life. Wait for the suitable opportunity and go and see Sir Divish about it. Tournament. A combat tournament will soon be conveyed in Ratei. It's open to commoners, so even you can enroll if you like. The amorous adventure of bold Sir Hans Kappen. The local dandy in fond of it, is fond of intrigues, especially when the fairer, fairer sex is involved, and it's only a matter of time before he drags him into one. Band of Bastards. The province has been saved since the raid of Skelets, and soon you can expect orders from Sir, Sir Razik to ride out with a band of mercenaries to put things to right. And a woman's lot. You lost your home and family in Skelets, but you are not alone. Teresa and Yoanka encountered similar misfortunes and fled to each tries in her, in her own way to come to terms with. If you want to know more, look at the DLC heading in the main menu where you can find precise instructions for playing the DLC. Okay, I don't think we are going to do that. Maybe after the gameplay, after we play the whole story. Hello, Peshek. 
Hey, youngster, come in. We are here. I am Henry. Thanks for caring, for taking care of My me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Yeah. What you would you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. Yeah. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Uh, tell me more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring, my mate. Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse... Never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Okay, I'll do it. Because I think I'm I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side. To make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. God be with you. And with you. Okay, so. I know, I said. A while ago, and I'm said a, a pretty much uh, or often. I said that we were going into the honest path here with Henry, but we have to pay our debts to Miller Peshek. So let's grab the spade and let's do this work for him. And of course, we have to pay the apothecary as well. So, all done. Let's head out to town. Very encumbered. But there's a trader nearby that I know. And maybe she can take something out of our hands here. Or maybe even Peshek can buy something from us, probably. Can I think buy stolen goods? So let's talk to him. Peshek, Peshek, don't go away. Come here, Peshek. Come here, boy. Ah, oh, we are so over encumbered. It's not even funny. 
Good. Okay. So, can you tell can me? Can you tell me? What about the scallops, folks? Folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work. They just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think is about to happen? What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Have you heard anything about those Cumans? Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Yeah, that's, that's all. all. I'm not going to pay him. I'm going to save that. Can you teach me to pick locks? May the Lord watch us. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. With real lock. Get some more severe snaps that we can sell, and we have to do this mission for him first before he buys anything from us. Yeah. God be with you. I'm not going to pay him. So now. Let's save. Uh, the stuff that are stolen. Come on, Henry, you can do this. So let's save the stolen stuff here. Like this axe, this bludgeon, this poor hide. This dog skin. Everything that's stolen, we'll save there, and we'll sell, sell to Peshek once we can. Okay. So, we are a little bit less encumbered, but still a lot. So, let's wash ourselves. And now, let's set uh, in our merry way. Very, very slowly. But I think it's one of the last times that we are going to be so slow. Can I see the levels if we got any level up here? Strength, but no perks. Main level. Okay, we've got some new things that we can take a look at. The Wanderer. Nope, it's Somnic. Okay, that's good. With no, with no penalties, with no, yeah, with no penalties. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's learn that. Thank you. And that's about it. There's no downside choosing that skill, but. The skill that we are after first it's the strength one for the perk of mule which will allow us to carry more stuff with us okay come on Henry you can do this you have two traders here one just around the corner and the other one there on the butts Come on. Yeah, the tenor. Hello, tenor. Good afternoon. You, good afternoon. Will you buy something from me? Take care. Sell. You have 200. That's brilliant. So, 
buy all my apples buy this X buy this bludgeon this bread roll this coif this foot wraps this hunter gloves this 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 uh, this as well this as well Mary gold decaution the noble shoes you can buy it as well why not the old boots as well this you are helping us to become lighter and I thank you very much for that let's sell two severe snaps and you are almost giving us all your money the spade we cannot sell we can sell the spirits we can sell this as well we've got two torches so let's sell one and we are no longer over encumbered so we can even sell the working boots and that's about it let's haggle what do you got to sell man nothing that we care okay so let's haggle let's have a word about the price let's sure why not okay can you give us all your money aye but that amount I can be persuaded thank you Thank you very much. So now we can run. Yay! We can run, man. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so let's try to do the mission. Which is the A. So let's try to go to the A. Where is the A? That side. Okay. I do remember now where I should go. And I think we've got a pot here that we can eat as well. If I do recall correctly. Somewhere around here. Not in here. But here we have that pot. Good. Let's eat it. Good stuff. So, nourishment wise, 76. Not bad. So, let's go to the executioner house. We have a pet leading there. Vitality, great. What's this? Nothing that we care. Okay, let's try to recover. A little bit of health. Okay, now let's follow the pet. And we should be getting to the executioner house if we keep following this path. Okay. Here we are. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. But the corpse is around here somewhere okay here right yeah start digging good stuff Christ wound, what a fucking stink. 
How long have you been lying here? Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. No, I'm not going to return to Peshek because the ring is with the executioner. So, Mr. Executioner, where are you? Okay, you got a lockpick. Easy. So let's do it. We're not practicing for the main one. Mm. We don't care anything about that. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey. Something you're looking for here? Yes. Uh, try to get him out of the house. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Nice. Go, go, go. Are you going the right way, sir? What the hell is that? Are you sure you are going the right way? Maybe you are. Okay, so let's get into your house real quick. him silly like the groschen and the other stuff I don't care that much food I don't care but we can eat we can eat from your pot pot and where is the ring man maybe in here Probably. Probably here. <coughs> Nothing of worth here. Where is that ring man? Nice. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Yes, you are right. Let's get out. Let's go away. Let's return to Peshek. Go, 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 go. get some vitality experience in the meantime you discover rat hey yeah I know Run for your life. Let's go, let's go, let's go, man. Maybe now he can buy some stolen goods from us. 
Where are you, Miller? Where the hell are you? Here you are. Oh. Then that someone was making a fool of you. Oops. Are you still asleep, Ruriza? You are. Ah! Oh, that was a big fall. What kind of trick were you trying to pull last time, you cur? I went all the way to the mill for nothing. Clear off, and don't show your face here again. Good day to you. I got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy... Good. ...risky goods from you. That's what we want. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Good. That could be useful. But you'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. So. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Good luck, then. You have 1K. That's good. And you got lockpicks and you've got treasure maps. Good. All good stuff, to be honest. All good stuff in here. Okay, those save your snaps. Okay, let's haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Why not? 32. All right, so. Thank you, Peshek. You are a deer. So, if I go to my chest here and take this, take this. Cumbered again, but are we sleepy? Oh, why is that symbol? Maybe because of the perk. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Take care. Sell the axe, the bludgeon. The boar hide, the dog skin, we've got 25 picks, box picks, like, that's great. The rear the year height. Oh, I forgot to put the spade in the trunk and I'm going to do that. The spade is 4 kilos. So well worth it can we do something about Let's the price try to get 27 hmm. out of this all right so 27 why not what do you say to this a nice sum just lower your demands a little and we'll agree okay 26 that's a sum I can live with nice so let's put the spade on the trunk. Good. All done. Let's wa wash ourselves. And now, let's go to Rete, finally. Finally, we can go to Rete. 
and speak to Sir Razik. And after that, we are going to win the episode before the next quest. Who are you, man? You have a quest for us? Milan, what do you want? My respects to you. My respects to you, too. You fight for coin? Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? Well, I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? I got it. Let's fight. All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Okay. Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Okay. What are the rules? Any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his ass or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Got it. Got, got it. With you. Are you Steven? Or Ringlet? And he said right away you'll take nope. them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, fast travel, you know. But for now we are going to keep going at foot. Hello, guard. Don't you want to talk to me? Halt! Who yes. are you and where are you going? You want I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyitz. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. <laughs> what do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Uh, this is, in terms of stats, the highest one. But I will use I may not persuasion. look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then, go ahead. Nice. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Nourishment is 96, so we don't need to eat from this pot. Okay, we have access to Retay now. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Be merciful, good people. Okay, and we could do something here in Retay before we speak to... Mr. Rezik, Sir Rezik, which is going to the apothecary and try to pay our debt, if we can. We should be able to do so. Well, it depends on the money. But we should be with good coin. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm healthy again. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Who can teach me to I want to, to learn read. to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Okay. About that death. About that death. Yes. Of course. We are going to pay. Pay him. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Is there anything else I can do for you? For now, no. One pay, one debt is paid. And now let's see Sir Ratzik of Kovlia. Come right up. No need to be shy. And the implements and machines of every kind.
Hey, you. A word in your ear. What do you want? God be with you. What are you hanging around for? What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? Maybe. Maybe. All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazder of the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Okay. No, that's a lot. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. Let's oh. get into Sir Redzik. Antonia. What are you here for? How's life in Ratai? How does life in Ratai suit you? Ratai. It would be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. What heck actually happened in Skelets? Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Yeah, you reckon well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, guys. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? Yes. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I was attacked by bandits in Skalitz. Bandits attacked me in Skalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. You're right. And yeah. just what are you doing here? I'm going to see Sir Radzik. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks indeed. Okay. Oh, sorry. Lost something here. Oh, sorry. Hey! Oh no. So this hey. is who's there? Not the right way to go, right? We have to go one step further. Maybe this. Yeah, this is it.
Okay. Cutscene, big one, coming up. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pechstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. Well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with like Sigismund realized just what fence. Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. Oops. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. Hmm. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. <laughs> Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. 
They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... He'd like to enter my service. So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, with another big quest in hands for Henry, he needs now training. We are going to do some training. I think this is a good time to stop with an achievement even. It's a good time to stop here this week of Episodes, the first week of episodes here in King to Kingdom Column Come Deliverance. Hey, where's your talk? And you can't walk around here in the dark without a light. Oh yes, you are right. You are right indeed. Let's equip our torch. And I was as I, as I was saying before the guard interrupted me. Uh this is a good spot here to end this series of episodes this first week of episodes here in Kingdom Come Deliverance oh oh that's the fire I thought that was a, a meteor uh, yeah so next time around we are going to try to be a squire for Sir Razik. and that was strange those words that Sir Razik used that my mother was a remarkable lady too can we talk to you, priest? Yes, we can. What the priest? About Rete? No, no, let's not do that. Let's end the episode then. So, God be with I'm you. going to end the episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave me some comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Titlar. I hope to see you Monday for episode number six and the training for becoming Mr. Sir Ratzix Koblia Squire. Bye bye and take care.